Hi guys, now that we've done a bit of revision, we've revised the Buwabuahan and the Sayasayura, the fruit and the veg, and we've also had a look at the colour words and I've introduced you to some new vocab that we use to describe things like their appearance. We are going to move on to writing a sentence about some fruits and some vegetables and using those new uh, sentence structures that I taught you today. So here I have put the heading at the top of my page and I've put a line in the middle of my page just here. If you want to see that, I'll just make it a bit more apparent so you can see. So I've put a line in the middle of my page and on one side I've written bua, fruit, and on the other side I've written sayuran, vegetable, because I'm going to give one or two examples of each in my book. Okay, let's start with the bua. Now, remember when we were writing about the colour of a fruit or vegetable, we used the phrase, the fruit or veg word, burwana, and then the colour, okay? My example here today is an orange, and you can see the orange there. I've drawn a picture of it. Then I've written a sentence about the colour, and the colour of an orange obviously is orange. Who remembers the word for orange? Jinga, you're right. So the word for orange in Indonesian is jinga. So I'm going to use that in my sentence today. Remember, we write the fruit, berwana, and the colour. So my sentence says, jeruk, berwana, jinga. The orange is orange. <laughs> that sounds funny. Then I've thought about the appearance of the orange, and I know an orange is round and it's quite smooth. So I used the way of writing, this fruit is, and here is the sentence, bua ini, this fruit is. And I've written this fruit is smooth and round. And here is my example. Bua ini bulat dan halus. Okay. And then here is my example for potato. Uh, I've used the potato, which is the kentang, kentang, berwana, chocolate. The potato is the colour of brown. And then I've described it by saying sayuran ini. So this vegetable is keras dan kecil. It is hard and small. Okay. I'm going to do an example now um, on the bua side for you to listen and watch. So I've chosen today to write about the banana, which is the pisang. So I'm going to first draw a banana for you. Let's see how I go. If any of you know me well enough, I'm not a great drawer, but that's okay. Not everyone's great at everything. There we go. I'm going to put the colour it in. Okay, so there's my banana, my pisang. Now, my sentence today is obviously I'm going to say that my banana is yellow. Can anyone remember the word for yellow? That's right, it's kuning. kuning. So my sentence will say kentang, which is potato, berwana kuning. Kentang berwana kuning. Okay. Oh, sorry, pisang. Pisang berwana kuning. I also think sometimes it has a bit of black in it, and we all know that the word black is hitam. Dan hitam. There you go. So pisang berwana kuning dan hitam. My last sentence is going to describe it, and I know that the bananas are quite long. So my sentence is going to say bua ini. Remember, this fruit is, and if I was saying this vegetable is, I would say yuran ini. Panjang is long. This fruit, this fruit is long. Bagus. So pisang berwana kuning dan hitam bua ini panjang. Uh, good luck with your writing. If you have any questions, let me know, but make sure you work your way through the PowerPoint presentation because that gives you a really good guide of how to complete this task. Sampai jumpa.